kids, today we're going to make a banana cake or a banana loaf, all right? Before you start, the first thing you must always do, and you know this, is wash your hands. And you need to wash your hands really well, okay? Lots of that lovely blue soap in between the fingers, all round, clean, 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 clean. And don't forget to wear a nice clean apron. The apron is not just there to protect you and your clothes, it's there to protect the food as well, okay? So lovely clean hands, give them a good shake, a lovely dry, and then you're ready to cook. So, here we go. Okay, so today we're gonna make our banana cake. It's really easy, not difficult. All you need is butter or margarine. Two bananas, they can be ripe, no worries at all. Caster sugar, self-raising flour, baking powder, cinnamon, if you like, and two eggs. All right, simple, simple, simple. Equipment-wise, again, very easy. Measuring scales, if possible, all right. We've got a loaf tin to bake the banana cake in. A plastic spatula, helpful, but not 100% necessary. One fork, one dessert spoon, a small bowl for the eggs, a separate bowl, and then a big bowl ready to mix everything in. And you're ready to go. So, here we go then. Here's my bowl. In here, I've got my butter or my margarine. I tip that in, give it a nice shake and wobble. That's it. Then we're gonna add the caster sugar, which we got from here, which is great. All right, and then we need the old muscle power. Okay, so on a warm day like today, the margarine is quite soft. So you're gonna give that a lovely stir until all the sugar disappears. So you gotta use your muscles. All right, if you're gonna use a mixer, you gotta ask an adult to help you because obviously it's a little bit dangerous, but I think you can do this with your hands, as in your hand. You are the hand mixer. Okay, so once we get to that stage, okay, you're gonna take your two bananas. Don't worry if the bananas have a little bit of bruising or a little bit brown, it doesn't matter at all. It actually adds more natural sugar and is a little bit more delicious. So I'm gonna throw them in there and I'm gonna take that fork and I'm gonna just mash those bananas into the margarine and the sugar. Like I say, don't worry about a little bit of bruising on the bananas, it does not matter. Okay, so next I'm gonna not forget my cinnamon. All right, now the cinnamon I think gives it a lovely flavor. I'm going to take what I call a level teaspoon of cinnamon. Mmm, yum. I'm gonna take some baking powder. Again, just what we call a pinch. So probably not even as much as that. Possibly like that, all right? It's not, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna give that another mix. Get all the cinnamon, all that yum banana in there. If the banana's got a bit of texture to it, not a problem, it just makes it more yummy. Okay, and then I'm gonna to move to my eggs. Now, I think you all remember, at kids' cookery school, we crack our eggs in a slightly different way, all right? So, we're going to take our egg and we're going to gently tap it on the work surface to make a crack in the middle, or what we call the belly, the tummy, of the egg, all right? So we're gonna listen to the egg and we're gonna see and hear it crack. Here we go. Oh, I heard it go. There we go, there's the crack, yes. And then over the bowl, gently, no squeezing, the egg goes in, fab. All right, let's do that one more time. We've got two eggs, listen for the crack. Oh, yes, there he goes. And over the bowl, super job. 
Okay, so then we're going to take a new fork and we're going to whisk. Listen to that sound. Lovely. Up, up, up. Okay, so the more you whisk it and the more air you get in, the lighter your cake will be. Yum. Okay, so feeling brave, go back to your bowl. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour the egg into the banana, the butter, the sugar, the cinnamon, the baking powder. Give that a nice mix. And then we're going to add the flour. If we don't add the flour straight away, the mixture will curdle. So we want to add the flour gently. Keep mixing. Up, up, up we go. Spread it all around. In this recipe, you might find that you need a little bit extra flour. Depends on how big your bananas are. If the bananas are quite big, they might need a little bit of extra flour. But we'll show you what we mean when we get to the dropping consistency. Look at that. That's looking lovely. Great color too. Yes, yeah, so I think it is a little bit too runny. It's just a little bit too runny. And it's not gonna set nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit more flour. I'm gonna do this, but literally by eye. So there's not a right way or a wrong way. It's just getting the right consistency. So mix all that flour in, try and stir the mixture around like this so you keep getting air. It's called folding and it means that you get a lot of air. Again, I'm going to need a bit more flour. So I think you're going to have to keep the flour close by. But I think we're just about there now. So let's get all that flour in and then hold the mixture up. Yeah, it's just about there. I think maybe a tiny bit more flour, but not huge amounts. And then it will be ready to go into the loaf tin. And you're gonna bake that off at about 190 degrees centigrade in the oven or gas mark five and you're just going to have to keep an eye on it and it will probably this quantity will probably take about about 20 minutes so here's my lovely loaf tin and here's my spatula because i don't want to lose any of that yummy mixture i'm going to just take that off and literally pour the wonderful sponge mixture, sort of sponge mixture anyway, into the loaf tin. You can give it a bit of a spread out like that. I think that would do a family of at least four generously. So let's get all that lovely mixture off like that. Don't forget the old magic finger. Make sure you don't lick it but that's the most important bit. And there you go. So that is your wonderful banana loaf sponge ready to go in the oven.